think New York is the city that never sleeps? They say Shanghai doesn't even sit down. Welcome to a world of stark contrasts. A booming metropolis filled with neon lights, skyscrapers and fast living locals who look abroad for inspiration but all nestled comfortably amongst the sleepy skeleton of an ancient civilization. Where else in the world can you explore old world traditions and cutting edge cool in the blink of an eye? Taking the breathtaking views along the famous Bund. Taste your way through a region bursting with flavor or get a feel for rural life in the quiet outskirts of the city. Here's an insider's guide to Shanghai. Shanghai's transport system recently underwent a massive overhaul, leaving the city with an extensive, easy to navigate and air conditioned set of buses and metros to get you around town. Although there's the option of the maglev high-speed train, it can be quite pricey and doesn't take you to the heart of the city. The most convenient and affordable transport option from Pudong International Airport into the city centre are taxis or the airport bus, which frequently departs from opposite the main exit. For getting around the city, we recommend using Shanghai's metro system, but avoid it during crammed mornings and the end of day rush hours. All public transport, including taxis, can be paid for using the contactless Shanghai Public Transport Cart, which you can purchase at subway stations. Local taxis are inexpensive and plentiful, a convenient way to get around, especially after hours. Finally, for a slick and incredibly bragworthy way to tour the city, the breezy vintage sidecar motorcycle can't be missed. Sit back and be zipped around on an eye-opening and action-packed tour. The sidecar drivers are all fully trained and know Shanghai like the back of their hand. What better way to experience firsthand how the locals navigate Shanghai's manic streets? Minus the stress of driving, of course. If there is any destination worth leaving extra room in your suitcase for, it's Shanghai. The city's diverse districts and cosmopolitan flair make for some of the best shopping in the world. It's no surprise the Bund, with its endless skyscrapers and waterfront promenades, houses all the high-end boutiques, definitely worth a little window shopping, and people watching. But it's the colourful tree-lined streets of Changle Road in the historic French concession or the brimming outdoor markets that deliver the true Shanghai browsing experience. Magpies will feel at home in the Dong Tai Antique Market, where vintage bric-a-brac meets random, kitschy charm. You'll get a unique sense of old world Shanghai amongst the dusty trinkets. Now, whether you find anything worth cramming into your suitcase is yet to be seen. The vibrant, narrow alleyways of the Tianzafang district in the French concession are perfect for the independent, artsy finds. It's here you'll discover boutiques featuring up-and-coming local designers and in-store art studios. This young, buzzing district is just the place to spend an afternoon browsing boutiques, sipping coffee, and just taking in its sunny, youthful energy. Finding an Atta Vintage in the Shiyuhui district can be a treasure hunt in itself, so keep an eye out for the green sign. All worth the effort, as this hidden gem is run by true vintage lovers who have scoured the globe looking for beautiful old-school threads to fill their charming, bedroom-like boutiques with. Best part of the hunt? Tea time in the garden with your charming host.
There is a strong movement in Shanghai for earth-friendly and ethically sourced traditional garments. Places like Urban Tribe Boutique Gallery and Tea House only use natural materials and dyeing techniques. Shanghai Harvest Studio features ethically sourced folkloric pieces and often employs indigenous women to create garments and teach their traditional embroidery techniques. But nothing quite beats having a garment tailor-made just for you. The three-storey South Bund Fabric Market is a one-stop shop for huge savings and a custom fit. Just be sure to put in your order at the beginning of your holiday, as most take about a week to complete. Now that you've got your new threads, let's get you fed. Shanghai's long-time expat crowd has brought with it a whole list of flavours and a world-class culinary scene. Celebrity chefs are plentiful and have peppered the metropolis with endless rave-worthy eateries. But it's Chef Paul Paré's revolutionary ultraviolet that takes the fine dining cake. The 10-seat, multi-sensory room pairs carefully curated video projections, sounds and scents with each of its meticulously crafted 20-course avant-garde plates. The production is meant to enhance the flavours that has critics eating out of Paré's visionary hands. And what a production it is. Creativity at its best. But it's also reflected in its 6,000 yuan per person price tag and three month long waiting list. It's safe to say booking in advance is a must. If Ultraviolet is out of budget, Paré's equally celebrated modern French bistro, Mr. and Mrs. Bund, gives you a more affordable taste of his culinary genius. International flavours aside, it's time to taste the regional cuisine. Now, keep in mind, although tipping is not common practice in China, it is starting to catch on, so tip at your own discretion. Starting off the day and your exploration of Chinese dining with a traditional dim sum late breakfast at the popular Din Tai Fung is a great introduction to local cuisine. The lazy start time complements any late nights out on the town. The busy chain is world-renowned for its steaming dumpling soups, which are churned out daily in its bustling kitchen. Now, if you really want to treat yourself to an out-of-this-world traditional dim sum experience, Hang Hu in Hin in the Shi Yu Hui district is worth seeking out. Every bite is carefully handcrafted at this peaceful eatery overlooking Shi Yu Hui Park. Be sure to try the shrimp almond pastries, a house speciality. For a more modern take on brunch, Commune in the Tianzifang district is a favourite all-day eatery among the young international crowd. The laid-back outdoor setting is the ideal place to relax and get hydrated after exploring the buzzing district. The relaxed energy of the place reflects in the menu, where everything goes and all hits the spot. Not a bad place to sit back, get refuelled and watch the beautiful locals walk by. Although Shanghai isn't known to be the most vegetarian-friendly city, the meat-free diet is starting to catch on. Thankfully, there are walking tours run by in-the-know locals who will point out all the best spots that don't consider chicken to be the veggie option. A great way to test out the city's at times overwhelming street food scene. Lost Heaven Yunnan Folk Cuisine is one of Shanghai's most well-reviewed and loved regional restaurants. Serving the typically spicy southern dishes in a traditional setting. But don't be fooled by the name. This restaurant isn't just for your grandmother. The patio and cocktail scene at this buzzing eatery may be just the spot to get you geared up for a night out Shanghai style.
step back in time and start off your evening at a Shanghai institution, the Peace Hotel Jazz Bar. Known as one of the city's oldest bars, the legendary hotspot was all the rage in the Roaring Twenties. This classic bar still holds its charm, as do its dedicated musicians who hold an average age of 75. The timeless cocktail list is a nod to the bygone era. Kick off your night out with an appreciation of Shanghai's glitzy past. In theme with flashbacks, Yuan is an experimental bar that tips its hat to the 80s cocktail scene in Shanghai. They feature a tasty drink menu that offers a distinctly Chinese take on the classics such as the Manhattan Twist. Using regional ingredients like rice wine and ginseng and featuring incredibly knowledgeable mixologists behind the bar. Some things need no translation. Drunk Uncle in the Jingan district is a laid-back hangout with an artsy clientele who make themselves at home nightly amongst the hazy cigarette smoke, guitar strumming and endless list of imported beers. A piece of paradise for any bohemian heart. Time to step into the future as the dazzling Bund with its spectacular views and rainbow lights has a forward-thinking feel to it and equally slick bars to take it all in. The Glamour Bar is just as its name suggests, a glitzy scarlet room that will have you feeling like an A-lister, which is also reflected in its prices. But enjoying the views of the Bund shouldn't have to cost an arm and a leg. This is where Captain Bar comes in. Housed in a youth hostel with a prime view, the scene at Captain Bar is easygoing, lively, but still with those breathtaking sights. Dada Bar, over in the Changning district, is an equally laid-back watering hole with a hip crowd, great music, and zero pretense. Foosball, anyone? But nothing beats Yu Yin Tang, a legendary underground Shanghai venue that's been fiercely supporting the local rock scene for years. Bringing together music fans from around the globe, this is the perfect place to see up-and-coming independent acts with a few international treats. Even if you're not particularly a rock fan, the buzz of the room is infectious and will have you nodding along in no time. What better way to truly get down with the Shanghai Seamsters? Escapes from the non-stop bustle and crowds of Shanghai are mandatory. Especially with such beautiful natural scenery and serenity nearby. Only an hour and a half bus journey away is where you'll find towns like Changshu. With their pristine lakes and tea plantation covered mountains to stroll and explore providing a serene, family-friendly break from the excitement of the city and much fresher air in the lungs. Pedal yourself around at your own pace or catch a laid-back Chinese gondola ride through bamboo waterways and watertop forests for an authentic glimpse into traditional rural life. But if you truly wish to splash out and detach from urban life, the Naked Retreats, three hours outside Shanghai, promise to get you back to the bare essentials. Nestled in the rolling Mogashan Bamboo Mountains, the eco-villas and huts provide a serene escape in a pristine natural environment. Featuring beautiful horse stables and riding grounds,
you can trot through the green trails or gallop around the track. Infinity pools and daily lakeside yoga offer you even more chances to unwind and realign. But it's the majestic surrounding scenery and the careful design of the earth-conscious accommodations that will have you truly letting go. Now, if you've got a restless daredevil in tow, need not worry. The Land Rover experience will have your action-loving travel companion taking the wheel of a 4x4 on a winding forest road. Hey, we all have different definitions of relaxation. Be sure to stop by the ancient water town Juji Agio en route to naked retreats. The hidden gem hardly sees any foreigners amongst its winding laneways and is a unique glimpse into the region's rich history. With historic architecture dating as far back as 1700 years, exploring this quaint town is a treat for any history buff. You don't necessarily have to escape Shanghai to find serenity, as the city's residents have carved out their own pockets of tranquility for you to discover and chill out in, such as Fuxing Park. Although rising early while on holiday is usually frowned upon, you must set your alarm on at least one occasion to catch the early morning sea of seniors getting limber. From Tai Chi, to badminton, to dance, and well, whatever this may be. It's no surprise that China has some of the world's oldest residents after observing this dedication to fitness. Hey, why not join in? Film buffs will lose themselves in the incredibly slick and interactive Shanghai Film Museum a futuristic ode to the city's cinematic history. Interactive panels in both English and Chinese come to life, revealing Shanghai as a once historic hotbed of Chinese cinema. The four-story, state-of-the-art experience will make you into a Chinese cinephile in no time. If you'd rather tuck away and watch a modern release, the Cathay Cinema 1930s Art Deco Picture House will have you stylishly kicking back with popcorn in tow. Finally, if a classic pampering is truly what you crave, then the royal treatment at the Bund Five Spa Oasis will have you melting into its luxury treatments in no time. From rose petal soaks to Italian wine body scrubs, sometimes relaxing takes a helping hand, or four. Located in the basement of an apartment building in the Shiyu Hui district, the Shanghai Propaganda Poster Art Center is a private collection that started off as a hobby and grew into a popular permanent exhibition and cultural landmark. Featuring over 5,000 propaganda posters, many of which were rescued from rubbish bins. The posters feature artwork from the first 30 years of the People's Republic of China. The centre is the place to get primed on China's idealised political past. The Chinese have harvested and enjoyed tea for millennia. What better place than Tian Shan Tea City, a multi-complex devoted to the traditional brew, to explore and taste your way through the thousands of flavours and medicinal properties of Chinese tea. Featuring over 150 stalls, each with their own unique take on tea, you'll be sure to learn a great deal about the iconic plant.
With such spectacular views and charming neighborhoods to wake up in, finding the right accommodation in Shanghai is a piece of cake. The Puli Hotel and Spa is a five-star oasis in a bustling metropolis. A rare respite from the 24-hour excitement, but still in close proximity, shall you crave a little action. Touching upon simple, natural elements for inspiration, but still incorporating Shanghai's stunning city views into its design, this urban retreat will have you renewed and recharged every time you step outside its lobby doors. And certainly, if you pay a visit to its award-winning Anantara Spa, known to dish out some of the best massages in town. Design lovers must hang up their fashionable hats for a few nights at the uber-stylish The Waterhouse at South Bund. Housed in a converted 1930s industrial warehouse and former army headquarters, the boutique hotel will have you feeling like a living art installation, which may explain why acclaimed artist Tracy Emin felt most at home here while visiting Shanghai. But don't let the cool concrete fool you. The minimalist design doesn't fall short on comfort or ultimate relaxation. You won't have to wander too far to have a star-rated meal either. As one of the city's most praised restaurants, Table No. 1, run by star London chef Jason Atherton, is also housed in its creative concrete walls. Focusing on modern European dishes with communal dining in mind, Table No. 1 encourages its guests not only to taste, but to share its award-winning plates. Nestled in the charming French concession, Quintet Bed and Breakfast will have you waking up in a traditional 1930s Long Tang Lane House proving that affordable doesn't have to mean without character and comfort. A favourite spot for larger, multi-room family bookings. Quintet will be your Shanghai home, away from home. Whatever your taste or budget, Shanghai certainly has something to offer everyone, and so much more. But don't just take our word for it. Come and experience this incredible region for yourself. <laughs>